right. I'll see you Thanksgiving. Love you too. Bye. So, this is college. So, uh, I, I guess this is our first time meeting. Uh, uh, as you might have guessed, I'm James. Uh, you must be Johnny. Uh, so, I see that you're busy. Um, I guess I'll just go to the lounge, uh, meet some people. Jim. Jim, my dear boy. Stay a while and have a seat. Let's have a drink, shall we? Uh, are you sure about this? The RA is right across the hall. <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jim. Actually, it's James, if you don't mind. Really? You look more like a Jim. Or maybe a Jimmy. Well... I've always been a James. You're over 21, right? No, are you? Well, we might as well spend the night drinking here. Get to know each other, you know? Open up to your help. <coughs> oh, easy, my boy. I'd appreciate the 4.0, but uh, don't die on me. What are you talking about? Oh, if your roommate dies, you automatically get a 4.0. That can't be true. That's an urban legend. Well, hopefully we won't have to find out. What's in this, anyway? <laughs> Secrets. Uh, oh. oh, hey, Jimbo. Oh. You had quite a night last night. What happened last night? I don't remember anything. Of course not. Why do you say that? Memory loss is quite common when taking quaaludes. What the hell? Is, is that what was in my drink last night? Yep. What the, Where do you get off? Oh, calm down, Jimbo. It's not Jimbo, or Jim, or Jimmy. It's James, and what the hell were you thinking? Thought you'd have a nice time. And going by what I saw last night, you had a fantabulous time. Jesus Christ, I could have died. Yeah, and wouldn't that have been a shame? I mean, it seems like a pretty interesting class, and he's a pretty easygoing professor. Yeah, I really like it so far. Well, here's my room. Man, I really hope my roommate isn't home. Why, is it not working out? He's a bit, uh, eccentric. I just don't know if I can trust him. Uh, between you and me, I think he's trying to kill me. Oh, well, I hope it works out, all right? Listen, Grace, if I don't make it through the semester, I'm pretty sure my roommate's to blame. It can't really be as bad as all that, can it? Who is this? Uh, this would be my good friend, Gregory. <laughs> Um, excuse me, uh, Gregory, uh, would you mind, please, uh, getting out of my bed? Where are your manners, my dear boy? Gregory is a guest in our dorm. Let him keep the bed. You sit on your desk chair. I thought you had class now. Oh, I figure there's no harm in skipping it. Aren't you worried about your grades? <laughs> No, I have a plan for that. Ah! It seems your chair has broken. Careful there. It's so easy to get hurt if you're not more careful. Good morning, sunshine. Did you sleep well? Have you been watching me sleep? I wanted to apologize. We got off on the wrong foot. Here, I made this cupcake for you. Please, 
Enjoy the cupcake. I made it especially for you. My dear Jim, how are you doing? Oh, and I wouldn't drink from that water bottle of yours, by the way. I had to put some bleach in it last night. I figured you uh, wouldn't mind. Oh no, Jimmy, did you already drink from that water bottle? Well, you'll probably be fine. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Hey, Lou, what's going on? Grace, you've got to help me. My roommate is definitely trying to kill me. He just poisoned me. Uh, calm down. What happened? Ah, there you are. I think that was a very lovely service. Oh, very lovely. And his father's eulogy, that was especially moving. Incredibly moving. And what a way to go. Hit by a bus. Oh, and so young, too. Far too young. Oh, when you look what I have here. It's a letter. From the Dean. Oh, he offers his condolences. Oh, that's very nice of him. And he says that this must be a very stressful time for me. Quite true. Oh, and he asked each of my professors to give me an A for this semester. Why? What a surprising turn of events. I'll say. You know, Gregory... <laughs> my dear boy. I'm looking for someone to live with me next semester. 